They also have a Grim set up still. Let's see if we can get him going. Hello, Mr. Grimmy. Ooh. I know, and you look like a one-eye. <laughs> filmed this one before. Guys, today we are in Newark, Ohio, going to this Spirit Halloween, which is a former Kroger. Look at that building. That looks so totally cool. And I do believe, if my memory serves me correctly, that when we walk in here, we're going to see some Kroger signs, unless, of course, they've taken them down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Yep, I was right, guys. Look at this. I knew I'd filmed in here before. Look at this. Welcome to Kroger. Before we go in, let's take one close look at this sign because it is so awesome. And wait a minute, it's not even welcome to Kroger, it's we come to Kroger. They must be referring to the ghouls and goblins that are right through that door. All right, let's head in here. Oh yeah, I totally remember this store. Last year there was like water all over the floor and stuff. Anyways, all right, let's get down to it. We have a possessed pumpkin set up here. How cool. Most of the stores we've been going to don't have very many, if any, animatronics set up anymore at this point. He's not very loud, but he is very awesome. They also have a Grim set up still. Let's see if we can get him going. Hello, Mr. Grimmy. Ooh. I know, and you look like a one-eye. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's actually amazing, guys, to see the shape of these animatronics after being run thousands and thousands and thousands of times over the season. He is still in pretty good shape. All right, let's see what, if anything, they have over here still. We have the spooky strings. All right, let's see. Oh, we have a shorty. Hello, shorty. <laughs> He's pretty loud in here, actually. I'm glad they have the music turned down in here, though, because sometimes it gets just a little bit too chaotic. All right, anything else over here? Wait a minute. We have a spooky bag with spooky bricks. <laughs> All right, let's go through and see who's in the spooky tunnel of bubbly death. Oh my gosh, I hear Shorty out there, and I was like, what the heck? Look at this. This is... The, uh, the empty soul girl, but they have trimmed her hair. What the heck, man? Okay. And we do not have Crouchy here, but we do have Bubbles of Death. All right, guys, let's take a look at what they have for sale on the floor here. They actually have a good selection of animatronics. We have two deadly creepers here, a huge sandworm groundbreaker. We actually have a tombstone of terror right here, guys. Oh, and there are two more deadly creepers on the other side. Okay, we got a Mr. Punchy here, and we have another Mr. Punchy over here. Oh my gosh, and we have another Mr. Punchy over here, as well as a Nozzles. And of course, we have the sitting scarecrows. There's actually three of them here. Let's go ahead back here and see if we can see any other animatronics on the floor for sale. Well, no, let's stop over here and see who we have set up over here still. We do have a Nozzles. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, Nozzy. Oh, is that broken? Hello, Nozzy. Hello, Nozzy. <laughs> what the heck? All right, Nozzy, I guess you're in a deep slumber for the winter. Wait a minute, here he goes. Holy crap. <laughs> I thought he was in his deep slumber, and out of nowhere, he turned on. We do have the jumping spider over here, guys. Let's see if he's going to jump. Come on, Mr. Jumpy. He must be in a deep slumber as well. And I just saw a girl step on this one, and she did nothing. Oh, here she goes. I must have the magic touch. Your bag is moving, miss. 
Okay, and we have Reagan. Let's see if she's gonna work for us. Oh, of course. She's the one that actually works. Oh, Reagan. I don't want to hear your mouth. I don't want to hear what you're saying. I don't want to hear what you're spitting. There you go. Just spin your head and let's get it over with you. Evil, evil thing. All right, let's go through the evil electrical room of death. Look at this. Right now, there's nothing happening in there except for the two fans going. So let's go through and see if it kicks in for us. Very quiet, very spooky. All right, let's see. Is it gonna get us? It's not buzzing. It, oh, the electric just turned on. It's trying to kill us. All right, we escaped the electrical death with our life. Let's look at the little creepy dolls. We have a pumpkin nester here. We also have a hugs doll. We have another hugs. We have a Rosalie and a decrepit Donna, as well as, oh, okay, I thought we had three of these crawling zombie babies, but no, we have two of them and the burrito baby. Man, if these burrito babies were like 20 bucks a piece, I'd buy every single one that I find. Oh my gosh, okay, let's come over here a second, guys. This is absolutely hilarious. I've pointed this out before. This is a killer clown's mask, but the tag has fallen off, so they put a new one on that just says mask. All right, let's come on back over this way and see what else we can find. We have the hallway of bad breath and ghouls. Let's look at the inflatables for a second, guys. They have actually a whole bunch here. I have yet to buy the Wolfman, and I don't think I will. Somebody said he looks like Homer Simpson, and now I can't get it out of my head. They also have the inflatable skeleton hands, which I don't think I want. They have the inflatable Sam, they have the inflatable tombstones, they have the inflatable ghost face, and I'm actually surprised they still have any of those in stock. They have the Scarecrow Archway, which I'm gonna regret not buying. Unless I can find them on clearance, I might buy them. They have the Fright in the Box. They have the Ghost, the Jack-O-Lantern Stack, the Inflatable Killer Clowns, the Jack-O-Lantern Archway, and the Scary Clown Archway. If they had Secret Keeping Cats, they probably would be over here or over here on these shelves, and I do not see any. However, I do see the vampire door knocker. I did think about getting this guy for my office door, but I don't know, I'm gonna hold off for now. They got a whole bunch of the zombie arm pathway markers. If you wanted to line your entire pathway up to your front door with those, there's one, two, three, four, five boxes of those. Hello, Octobones. Hello, Sharktobones. Hello, Aliabones. Let's leave some stickers for the headstones. And let's leave some for the inflatables. And let's leave some for Nazi down here. They have these Ouija mugs, which I've said before, I'm not into Ouija, but this mug is really cool. Look how they have the planchette in the bottom of the mug. Whole bunch of tarot decorations here. They're still pretty stocked on the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here. And the little zero, oh wait a minute, what the heck? This is the second time I found a small bag on Zero's nose. What the heck is going on with that? I do like this Deadly Nightshade mug, too. It's enormous. This would be a perfect hot chocolate mug. And, of course, they also have this one with Zero that spins around. That's awesome. Totally stocked on the Beetlejuice stuff. They got a couple boxes of the Michael Myers string lights. These are totally awesome. I actually had been considering getting some of these to string in my office as well. But I think I'll hold off on that, too. That seems to be something they have every year, so if I decide I want them, I can probably get them next year. We have a creepy crimson girl on a swing and a sinister spirit doll. Several hanging Sam dolls. We got two here. We got three more over here. We have hanging Barbara and hanging Adam and hanging Ghostface and hanging Beetlejuice. And they still do have a good selection of the sidesteppers, guys. Look, they have both Spiky and Slim and Lydia, and Pennywise, and Frankenstein. Oh look, and Billy Butcherson on the bottom. And surprisingly, this may be the only jumping spider I've seen in the entire store for sale. Let's come on over this way and see what else we can find. Do they have any more animatronics on the floor for sale? I do not see any at the moment. And look at this once again, guys. The ghost face section is like almost 100% sold out. Let's see for the 
heck of it. If they have any ghost faces or Michael Myers back here in the mask section, I am not seeing any. I do see Crouchy, but no Michael Myers, no Freddy, and no ghost face. Not even a leather face. Let's come over here in the adult section and see, first of all, where Monty was. This is what we're seeing in all the stores now, guys. Monty is completely gone, and he's just left his abandoned circus tent. And here is the adult ghost face section. They do have a couple. They have the blues, the purples, and this red viper face, but that is it, guys. Wow, Freddy and Chucky are pretty much sold out as well. Oh wow, they have a ton of the hand puppets, guys. Look, they have six of the hand puppets here. I really wish they had a Grim for sale on the floor. I've been holding out and I may have held out a little bit too long. I may have to order him online. All right, guys, I think that is pretty much it for this store. It is a huge store, but I think we've seen pretty much everything there is to see in there. And I don't see anything that I definitely need to pick up in here today. I really wish they had that Grim or even the Straw Man because I would definitely buy Straw Man if they had him, but they don't. I am tempted to buy Punchy, but honestly, he's just not one of my favorites this year, so I think I'm going to pass on him. Before we go, let's leave some stickers for the Empty Soul Girl. Yeah, this is the only Grim they have in the store, and I would offer to buy him, but I don't want to buy one that already is having issues, and as you saw earlier, he only has one eye. And before we go, let's just turn right over here by the door and leave some stickers. All right, guys, that is it for Newark, Ohio. Spirit Halloween right there. I believe that was store number 93. Holy crap, guys. Seven more stores to go, and we will hit one hundred for the season 2022 spirit halloween that naked guy on youtube peace, peace.